We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another episode one retro style review for you coming right up. It is the OPC Killer and Qui-Gon Jinn. Big thanks to my homeboy, my main man Lockie for picking this up for me. Uh, oh, you're a big time dude. Um, thanks for dropping it off to my place today as well. Oh, I'm so excited about this thing. I've been hanging it off for a little while. As you all know, I'm sort of on the hunt for like older Phantom Menace stuff and Lockie and myself are having an absolute blast um, picking up some of these old figures from 99 that we are uh, and toys from 99 that we are uh, we missed as kids so it's great to sort of reminisce and talk about these toys so I'm uh, really really excited to open this one up so I'll go over the pictures on the sides on the top pretty much all the same other side yeah yeah on the back Remember the old Jedi Master points? <laughs> One of my favourite things is the little uh, fantasy setting, <laughs> little little quote down there. So uh, yeah, really, really excited to open this up. It's been sitting in a box for 20 odd years. Let's crack it open and play with some toys. All right, here it is. Let's crack it open. You know, the tape has already cut. I'm not sure if it's because it's been opened in the past or whether it's just the tape's worn out, it's a pretty clean break, so I assume the tape's just sort of stretched and broken over the years. And here we go. Yeah, see so the tape isn't even sticking anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a little leaflet. I've, I do have one of these in my folder, um, my old toy catalogue folder, but we'll have a quick flick through it. This is uh, this is timeless. <laughs> this is so cool. There's still a couple of these I need to go back and get. I'd like to get the other, the variations of the battle droid. I'd get the plain, the most cleanest one. I'd like to get the the th th three other variations of uh, of battle droid. I do need that Queen Amidala. Uh, I should have that Mace Windu. This week, I think. I can't remember if I ordered that one. I think I did. Um, I know Lockie just got that Boss Nass, so I'm looking forward to taking a look at that. Um, I will grab one for myself. I've got the Power of the Jedi one. Uh, Rick Oli. I do have an updated version of Rick Oli, so I will eventually go back and get that one as well. Some of these are cool. Little action figures. I've got the, I've got the Jar Jar. Recently reviewed the Cardu. About to talk about the OP. I do have the Maul and Speeder bike um, that was released back in 2012, and I'd like to get the Flash Speeder. That would be cool. I don't have this particular N1. I've got a more recent version of it, which is great. Still like to get Sabulba's Pod. I don't have these ones but I've got a couple of the other ones that are uh, my wife's but some power of the force cinema scenes awesome it's been too much longer on these but it's just a bit of a thrill to go back and look at this older stuff battle bags for beasts I completely forgot that they existed I'd like to go back and try and find some of those the Jabba Glob <laughs> <laughs> One of the most interesting toys that have ever come out of the Star Wars line. You know, Star Wars Kids Magazine. And then some roleplay toys on the back. Really cool. Alright, let's 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 get this guy out. Alright, so we've got some ties. I will uh, just skim forward through this. <laughs> So here we have Qui-Gon Jinn in his sort of underwater scuba gear. Now this is back at a time, 90s, where everyone had different variations of every character. You know, Batman had like 
winter weather Batman and underwater Batman and <laughs> everyone had their own sort of sort of thing here. Now, this could be one of the very earliest figures to have ankle articulation. There's no no rock or anything, but it's just the uh, flippers, flipperless <laughs> uh, feet. But I guess you could get that accessory pack and uh, give him the flippers. We'll zoom up on the head sculpt and have a look. Looks a bit strange. He's got the little breather in his mouth. Yeah, a little rubber band has all but sort of broken down and stuck to his hand there. But um, yeah, that would have come. There's a little bit more on the, on the sort of harpoony spear thing here. The lightsaber looks to just peg in. So that's not going to come out. I think that's no. I'm just going to leave that there. That's fine. So we get sort of scuba, scuba Qui-Gon Jinn here. It's not bad. <laughs> I like it. It's it's, kind of, it's a little ridiculous, but it's all right. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of these figures over the years. Like sort of, I did some sort of specific figures from the Clone Wars, but um, yeah, very interesting. There's a couple other holes through the. Uh, Oh no, that's just to make room for the uh, arm to slot through. I thought there were peg holes or something in the side of the robe thing. Alright, so we'll get him out of the way and I'll quickly skip through the opening of the Big Fishy. Alright, so here we go. We've got the... Uh, that in there like so and there we go okay this dude is cool <laughs> I love it it's so cool mouth opens up articulated uh, flint fins there on the sides I assume there is a uh, I have to look to the back of the package Hey, oh yeah, that's well hidden. I didn't see that. <laughs> this guy could, uh, this guy could have some conversations with uh, Douglas the Dewback if you're familiar with uh, the Darth Prime and his uh, history with his Power of the Force Dewback, which has a similar talking feature. I have to come up with a name for this guy. I guess his name's Opie, isn't it? <laughs> He does look like a bit of an Opie. Really cool detail though, check it out. I like the uh, sort of glowfish sort of tendrils that are coming out the back. They go from yellow to red to sort of a purple at the back. Sort of scales are great. Don't think this guy's going to uh, sort of stand by himself, but I guess he just sort of. Yeah, that works. You could have the. Uh, Fins. I might have to see if someone does a uh, does like a specific stand for this guy. Put him on the shelf. Hello, <laughs> my name is Opie. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is cool. I love it. Awesome details. The paint job's sort of lacking in some areas, but for the '90s, man, this is pretty sweet. The details all there. If someone was uh, super talented at airbrushing, they could make this look absolutely incredible. I don't think the legs are going to pop off anymore. That's good. Joint under there. Can have Qui-Gon. Go on hunting fish. Going fishing. There's always a bigger fish. That's a cool set. I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments below. Drop a line. I love I love getting this stuff. 
Um, I'm really digging the old Phantom Mana stuff. This is stuff I wanted as a kid and I'm only getting to get to now, uh, 20 odd years later. So <laughs> this is really, really exciting. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, had a look at old Opie. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And hit the notification bell so all these videos come straight to your inbox and you're alerted straight away as soon as they drop. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, may the force be with you. Ah. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.